Welcome everybody. Uh, today I'm going to show you in this video how I went about painting the uh, uh, Malusi from my Daughters of Cain army. So starting out, uh, I wanted to do uh, the airbrushing of the, uh, the body portion. So uh, I mixed together in a separate cup uh, my colors. That way I can you know, try to you know, see see what I need to get it. Um, so there's no exact ratio. I'm using uh, Pro Acro paints. This is uh, some bold pyrote, pyrote red, magenta, and a little bit of the dark purple. So I'm just mixing that uh, in there um, along with some uh, airbrush thinner, Vallejo airbrush thinner. So I think this is the combination of colors I wanted. I want to make sure it's thin enough. Uh, after I did this video, I've, I've gone back and uh, changed a few things that I'll talk about as we go through uh, in the video. Uh, I've painted, I believe, 35 of the Malusi so far, and I uh, just kind of changed a few different techniques, and we'll talk about that. So just loading up my airbrush, Test it out here. Okay, nice. Um, actually, you see, I went over uh, black because I have primed the body portion uh, black because uh, I do want a darker color. I actually had another test model that uh, was primed white and it came off very, very bright, of course, because of the undercoating. So, uh, but way, way more pink than red than I wanted. So I'm trying to be fairly careful um, with this. I'm not just base coating the whole thing because uh, there is a difference between the um, uh, the center of the tail or the back portion uh, that's darker, and uh, we'll be going over that with some null oil to darken up. But also the the front or the yeah the front stomach part of uh, the model will get a, a lighter color so I, I wanted you know just not one big solid color or you know even color on the model but uh, actually three different areas the uh, the front would be a light uh, coat of this color and then the sides would be the kind of overall and then on the back spine portion I guess um, we're going to leave that fairly dark you know one coat on that and that you know this just gives us some variation of the color so that it doesn't just look the same every you know uh, all the way across you know and we'll be applying some other washes and stuff to get us uh, the different colors so now what this is this is just I believe the magenta and some ivory to lighten it up uh, for the stomach portion there that we uh, that we didn't paint near as much. All right. so, yeah, so it's kind of like the underbelly portion. Uh, it does curve around, and so you're going to see. You know, there's going to be a light overspray, but you know that's it's just you know that trigger control, and you know after. This was my initial five uh, that I did during this recording. I've up done 30 more since that. So now what I did was I just went back with some uh, bold titanium white to clean up all the overspray in the areas, uh, of course, that I that I didn't need. So it's like everything from the waist up, um, maybe excluding the weapon because that's just going to be painted black. So uh, just go through this. You know, this is one of the, you know, uh, I guess disadvantage or not so much disadvantage, but it's just a, a, a thing when you're airbrushing, you know, if the overspray is too much or primer or whatever in this case, you know, just go back and with a brush, it's not a detail work. It's just, you know, so I'm using a big old brush. So what I did here was I took some of the contrast uh, uh, or Citadel contrast, it's the Athermatic Blue, and I airbrushed this on. Uh, this 
after I did this, I when I went back on the other models, I just brushed it on because this just creates more overspray that I would have to go back and fix. And the uh, um, the benefit of using the airbrush, the effect uh, didn't help as much. Uh, so now I'm just uh, cutting in all the black areas, which would be the, uh, the leather straps, uh, the weapon, and I believe the, uh, the arrow as well. So just going through here, uh, just with whatever black uh, you like. Um, yeah. In this area, you know, this, these are some small details and straps and stuff. Um, you want to be as careful as possible, of course. Uh, but again, um, before we do the skin uh, or any of the other areas, we'll be able to touch it up with some more of that uh, base white primer or uh, uh, titanium white, whatever you're using there. So uh, you can just go on and, and uh, knock this out. Okay, now we're going to do the uh, the metallics. I use silver uh, for all the metallics here. Some of the box art and stuff has gold, but I use uh, silver. I, I just like, I like silver more than gold personally. Uh, so I use uh, Vallejo Air Metals. So uh, just the, uh, the chest area here, I believe it's going to be the arrow tip. Also on the head dress portion that will be metallic. Um, again, just wanting to be careful. Uh, take your time and uh, just the metallics are sometimes can be a little more difficult to, to cover up. darken in that spine area with some Nolan oil or watered down black. Uh, just real simple, uh, right along those that spine area. Uh, just give it, you know, uh, one, you know, a wash, you know, and if you want it darker, either another, apply another wash, you know, another layer of it. Pretty simple. And then just to uh, to give some shadow in the uh, the stomach area, just watered down or thinned down some known oil, just uh, uh, to give a little bit of shadow, and then over the, the rest of the the tail part, just so that you can see all those recesses and give a little bit of shadow in that area. And of course, let that dry thoroughly. So now for the skin, I use the uh, contrast paint Gilman's Flesh along with some contrast uh, medium. Thinned it down, um, I don't know, I think it was like 50-50 because they do have a, a lighter, paler uh, skin tone. And uh, then just go over uh, all the, the flesh areas, face, arms, uh, stomach there, even though I'm not in frame there, my apologies. 
but you just give that a coat. Take your time. I, I recommend taking your time, and uh, it's a, it's a nice, easy technique. And sometimes I try to rush it because it's simple and easy. Uh, but you can take just a little bit more time and you know uh, manipulate, maneuver the uh, the wash you know in the areas you want. And then what I did is I took a uh, uh, this olive flesh and white, and just mixed it together. Because now what I want to do, even though I'm not currently in frame, is there we go, is just add some highlights. Uh, the contrast paint and the way it works helps, but I, I wanted to bring those highlights even higher. So uh, the the nose, the cheekbones, the top of the muscles. Um, the contrast paint kind of gives us a road map of where these highlights go uh, and, and we're just trying to uh, bring them up you know, a little higher at the tops of the shoulder muscles or the neck muscles, the fingertips. This is very optional uh, as far as you know how much you want to put into each model. Uh, I like to take models after I've played and if they, you know, survived a battle or a skirmish, whatever, I play a lot of uh, war cry, and I try to add some kind of detail or highlights to the models that uh, performed uh, best in the game, and it just, uh, it's just kind of a little more exciting. What I'm doing here is, uh, I think I'm just going over uh, the highlights with more white and less of the olive flesh so that it just uh, pops a little more. And uh, here's my, my true life confessions. These five models were the only ones that I've highlighted to this extent. And then I just want to highlight the hair even more um, with some thin down white. Um, again, you can you know do this in stages. You can add some of that athermatic blue uh, into the white. Um, and just uh, you know, hit the, the highest points and, and uh, create a, a gradient up there. So here's a, a fun little thing. It took that athermatic blue, that contrast transparent paint, uh, and I'm going to go over all the metallics as well as like the black handle, and it just gives a, a filter, a tint, uh, kind of tying in the, the colors from the hair, uh, the metallics and stuff. Uh, so I mean, just real quick, and you know, if you want to do a different color uh, that, uh, that you like or just to tie it together, there you go. And then, uh, just some, you know, this is level three details here. Just cutting in, uh, putting a little black and then this bright red on a few of the, the scales, the individual scales. Um, just another, you know, another small detail uh, to make your models look great. So that's how I went about painting uh, my Malusi. Uh, for my daughter's cane army um, i hope these techniques uh, were helpful to you uh, you know maybe not all of them but just some ideas if you have any questions drop it down in the comments or contact me through uh, social media on facebook or instagram at smooth blend studios have a blessed day